Hi there, Rama, and I am Michael. I'm looking at the email that you sent me earlier today, and you have mixed news. You have good news, but you're still not exactly where you need to be yet, right? So let's take a look at what you wrote. You say, I've been learning with you for the last couple months. I want to let you know I took the TOEFL last week and my scores increased by 16 points from the last time I took the TOEFL and I hit 100. Nice. You went from 84 to 100. That's very good. You hit a milestone. You say, even though I was only taking the study seriously for the last two months. However, I need 26 on speaking and 24 on writing. I hope you give me some advice or a small plan for those two scores. I really appreciate your help. You actually give your students a faith that they can get the scores they want to get and the steps on your website give a clear direction and goals for students to know how to continue. Uh, thank you for those kind words. And can you do me a favor? Uh, if you could take these comments and post them at my website over at onlinetoeflcourse.com, uh, that would be very helpful. And other students can see your comments. Okay, in your situation, there's you're already one of my students, so you subscribed to my course back in March. You've been using my course for the last few months, and you really focused your studies over the last 60 days, right? Here's my recommendation. Keep doing what you're doing, except when you're doing the speaking practice, because of your score, I'd like you to focus a little bit more on your pronunciation. I think that's the key to helping you do better there. Okay, so your goal here is 26 speaking and 24 writing, and you just missed those by one point each. Wow. So you had 25 speaking, 23 writing. So as I said a minute ago, uh, when you're doing your speaking practice, again, send me speaking practice every day or as much as you can, and at least 70% of what you do should focus on pronunciation. That's where you need to focus more. Okay, writing, my suggestion is two things. It'll cost an, a little bit of extra money, but not too much, but it'll be worth, um, really, it'll be worth it for you. Uh, if you want, it costs $50. I want you to do an, I want to do an error correction of an independent writing practice test of your choice, and then an error correction of an integrated writing practice test of your choice. So when you do that, you can just email me a PayPal payment of $50. I will read and error correct that writing practice test. I'll do a diagnostic. I'll show you exactly what changes you need to, you need to focus on in order to get a perfect score of 30 on the writing part of the uh, exam. Right? So I think I should do this for at least one independent and one integrated writing practice test. I'll even recommend specific lessons in my course <laughs> based on your weaknesses to help you get better. Okay, does that make sense? So my plan is just stay subscribed to my course, then you can pay an additional $100 to have me do an error correction of an independent and integrated writing practice test, and that should let you know exactly what you need to do to improve that writing uh, area, and then you keep doing the writing practice. You want to send maybe three or four writing practice tests to me to score every week.